There's well on two. Where are the treats? That's what. Oh, I think I'm in Ben's pocket. <laughs> How Susanna I, kicks me on the sofa. Are you, um, Dean, are you a dog lover? I, I am, actually. <laughs> me, personally, I've got a cat at home that doesn't do anything but sleep. Um, so it's nice to kind of have the best of both worlds. Now, this Wellard 2, what, what's Wellard's real name? Panther. Panther, OK. Any relation to the Yes, original? it's the same. I think it's the grandson the, of oh. the original... Well, wow. so it's in the same family, same same breed, Belgian Shepherd. So oh. he's got some heritage. Because just when we were getting ready to interview, you started sneezing, and I wondered if you were actually allergic to. Dog no, hair. I, I think it's because it's early morning. <laughs> right. <laughs> like some twitch. You're allergic early to early morning. Early yeah, early 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 <laughs> I know that feeling. What's it like being back on his then? It's a great feeling. It's nice to be asked back. You know, it's been a nice feeling going back actually, because all the, what was amazing after 12 years. Of, of growing up on the show is, is all the staff are the same, all the crew are the same, the camera people are the same, the people that work in, on the help desk are the same. Obviously, the cast have changed, that's yeah. inevitable. But all the cast, actually, it's a, it's a nice family unit out there at, at the moment, actually. Oh. It's the, it's the apple and peanut butter. Yeah, Susanna has a, a breakfast that she eats, and, and I think that Panther can smell your breakfast, which is just tucked behind the desk there. Yeah, it's it's hidden, but obviously rejected. <laughs> not not it's not safe. as good as your treats. No, in favour the treats. So look, you're you've been you came back and you've been in about eight episodes. Yes. Uh, you've come back, and I know that you've really enjoyed being back. Yeah. Of course, being there. What about the future for for Robbie? Is there a chance that you think they'll well, ask you to stay? Well, or? Robbie, lucky enough, obviously with with quarantine laws, uh, Robbie now with the dog can't go back to India. <laughs> um, he owes some money to some loan sharks out there, so he's he might end up in a place in England that has a few roundabouts, uh, visiting his sister Sonia and Milton Keynes. Yeah. Um, so who knows? You know, it's not if he can find find his way around a few uh, roundabouts, he might um, end up in Warford one day. You'd like to come? Back I think yeah, it'd be interesting to see what what where Robbie's been. I think you know it's been nice to kind of dip in for these eight episodes, but they haven't really kind of gone down the route of what Robbie's actually been up to because obviously it's feeding Lindsay's storyline who plays Carol obviously mm. so it'd be interesting to see if they kind of want to take that up in the future. Some actors on soaps have been known to write their own storylines and then present them to producers with the hope that that will lead to more work. Is that something that well, you're thinking about doing? My, my handwriting is terrible so personally I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do it myself but there is I mean I, I always said that I'd love Robbie Jackson to come back. I remember Patsy who played Bianca said look you know Robbie should come back with a really good looking girlfriend that's one Miss India or whatever yes. out there. You're and, not going to complain about like, that, are no, you? No, not at all, and, and, and come back a bit different. But um, but then again, someone also said that Robbie is Robbie, and that's what the audience likes, so yeah, you can't shy away from that too much. One of the things that happens, of course, Dean, and you've, and you've not been in EastEnders for a long time, is as soon as you go back into one of our big soaps, you can become a target for people that are interested in trying to sell gossip on you. There was a story that, uh, on the weekend in one of the weekend newspapers, something that you've not had to deal with for a very long mm. time, and I know that you responded on Twitter and think mm. you did very well. What's it like when you see something like that happen you have to go through that it's a very good question I think in any uh, industry if you're kind of doing well and you're back out there you know people want to sell sell stories and, and make money on you you know and uh, I'm not gonna give that person the airtime but mm. I will say that it's very sad that someone in, in you know that I grew up with uh, would do that to me mm. tell you what the internet can produce some other unexpected things as well and one of the themes on the internet regarding you is your extraordinary similarity to the international supermodel David Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> David I'm like Gandhi. the prime, arm, prime, arm, prime Marnie version. <laughs> Not <laughs> remotely. He was a builder from Billericay. True, yeah, he's got, I mean? he's, but he's, got, he's got the smouldering look. I've got, a, I've, I, in the mirror I do it a few times when I'm on my own. Do you? Well, you practice the Gandhi. A few, the Gandhi, yeah. <laughs> Love that. Practice the Gandhi. Gaffney Gandhi, there's something in that. Really Same initials. Is. Same initials. Oh, brilliant. Well, it's terrific to see you Thank this you. morning. We look forward to um, seeing how you get on. And thanks very much indeed to Panther, Wellard too, for being so well behaved. Yeah. Well, Arda, I thought you know could go down that whole die-hard thing. Well, there were so many, there were so many names that they, 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 I think they had a fun day at the East Enders headquarters thinking of a new name, <laughs> and I think someone just said, look, let's just call it Well, Arda. Uh, it works brilliantly. It's lovely to see you, Dean. Thanks thank so much you, for thank coming. You. I think he deserves one of those treats now. Definitely. Don't you Why think? Not? There Me. we go. And <laughs> yes, not you, not oh. yet. Not until the end. Wow. Playing football the other day, and she had like a really pretty dress on, and then a pair of pink, pink football boots. Um, which I then sent Victoria the video. So again, you know, I think that was also a, a dagger in her heart. But uh, oh, but you yeah. don't mind. I love it's, it. It's what I you love want. it. I love it. She 